gonna get this little beast in here. So we're just going to have a little look around up front here. Keep a line of sight on this thing at all times. Better image there, just by bringing that there. this I've never seen on the top of those before. I thought people still up there, but evidently not. I'm not going to go over. Uh, take a little bit closer. Look at that. Do it a bit fast, a bit fast. Not sure what that is. Still looks pretty good. Zoom back out again. It's lovely how uh, 
They kept so much of the old brickwork. This is Kenworth Castle anyway. And uh Like I say, I'm not actually going to go over the castle itself. I prefer to do it on a day that's not so busy, as it's a weekend. It's going to be pretty busy in there, I expect. That doesn't stop us from having a little look around anyway. As you can see, I've got 28 satellites, 27. back a bit. Take a little peek at the gardens. Oh, that's really nice. My altitude apparently is only 21 meters. So when I see these aircraft come past, they look a lot lower. Well, they look lower than 400 feet to 500 feet. Definitely. If I'm only 21 meters up, that don't look much higher than me. But obviously it must be. I'm just gonna... Really nice. It must cost some money keeping all this the way it is. So you can see the boundary wall there, I believe. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think there's a boundary wall actually. The boundary wall's far off to the right. It's just the garden area. I'm going to pull this up now. Peek down here. This is the old... Gatehouse area. Oh, I just looked directly down. There it is, the gatehouse. At least from this side, anyway. I, I don't really want to be of those people, so I'm just going to uh, push that, push that forwards a bit. Just get over out of the way of people. Wow. 
this way a little bit and take a peek at these gardens. Again, beautiful, beautiful, well kept gardens. There you can see the boundary wall now to the right, and you got the, the walkway down there. As we move across this side, let's just raise this up a little bit. Oh, wrong way. Right now. Mm. Lovely. We're going to go forward because we've still got easy visual line of sight. I can imagine, you know, just looking and just trying to imagine what it would have been like to live here or to live in the surrounding area uh, with this with this medieval building. It's, uh, it's just so we can just. downwards just down there yeah. just look down there the arms again So you can see, you know, I can't go all around this per se because because there are people there that I just don't want anybody getting distressed. I see a very small drone about. So I've already got 40% battery left on this one, so I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this in now. Just gonna try and get as much sunlight out of the image. that is the one side Go up a little bit higher so 
blue and my altitude says it's 37 meters now which in the closest distance to the ground the earth's surface that is now just to trap a few of those get rid of some of those photons I should say or do just a little let out from here what I will do is I'll go around the other side and we'll get some from there. But as I'm down to 31% left on this battery now, I'm just gonna bring it in. Just gonna bring it back now. Okay. So I'm gonna start pulling back this way towards me. get it back down to a reasonable height. I've got 19 satellites. It seems like I'm pretty much locked on to where I am. My battery says it's got 95% only. Mm, okay. So let's get it up in the air then and uh, take off. Just for a moment, it started flashing red on the back there. I wasn't quite sure what was wrong with it. Uh, yeah. Let's have a look. Here's this boy. It's flashing red. Twenty-two satellites, which should be well and truly connected. Now, but the battery is dropping down quite quickly. I do wonder why that would be. Uh, we'll just ignore that for the minute. If I see it drop down too quickly, I'll get the thing down. So that won't be any good at all. As far as I can tell, they're still flashing green from the back of the drone. Alright, let me bring this down because it's no good when we got all that light up there. We want to get rid of some of that. So we get to see this a little bit better. Now, I'm just going to do a little... little moment off to the left there. Get a bit more height. So you can see all the wall now, well, I mean you can obviously see what I can see, but you see that outer wall. And you see the people there, so I'm not going to fly over the people, I must be quite, I'm quite a distance away from them, to be honest, so I'm going to start manoeuvring and turning the drone at the same time just to make sure 
that I can't be a hazard to any of them. It says I'm a hundred meters away. I'm just gonna pan that round a little bit. And, uh, This way, pan it round again. So I'm just using let me just take a quick peek on this. So this is just showing me what it thinks I'm interested in. So if I can just move over this way, I should be able to see myself in a minute. It says we're 32 meters up, so I'm just going to go to about 40 meters. That'll do. I'm just going to get a bit of a look in. Over there. And then just pan this round here. So as you can see then, you see the double, the double sort of stretch into the wall there by just bring this around and just turn it up. And, oh. So all the way down, when I was younger we used to play on this and uh, <laughs> you know, rightly or wrongly. Oh, sorry, I just put it up a bit too high. You can see how the how the picture darkens up when I do that. So let's, uh, let's just zoom in a little bit on that wall. And down there. Yeah, right, let's just push that up a little tiny bit, a little tiny bit, a little tiny bit, not too much. Now let's just bring this around like this. I'm going to start backing up now. You can see it up there. Just get that nice up if I can, I just don't want it to dull out too much. There, you all that round. And like I said, I don't want to distress anybody. Anything like that, we're really going to go up another five or six meters. Just get a little peek in the top of there. It's a lovely, lovely view of the bill of that main part in the middle there. Now I'm not gonna actually profess to know that much about the castle. I think it's one of those things when you grow up in the area, you tend to uh, maybe not give it as much thought as what you might if uh, if you didn't in the area, you know. Like I said, this was a bit of a playground for me and my friends. Climb up the, the outer wall, get in or just sit on top of the wall and look around. Over on the top right there at the back, I think you can see a bridge and uh, we're going to get a bit of a, a shot from there at some stage. I'm not quite sure just when. So uh, let's just pull away a little tiny bit. I can just turn this around as I'm doing it.
I can see myself now there on the map. Absolutely amazing. I mean, can you imagine what it would have been like living in there? Depending on your position, I suppose in life, uh, that would depend on what your life would be like, I would have thought. Morning. How are you? I'm fine, how are you? I'm very well, thank you, but I'm afraid we're going to have to ask you to stop. I'm afraid drone flying isn't permitted on land managed by English Heritage. Okay. Which is the full area around here, my apologies. So they are fantastic bits of kids, but unfortunately not permitted here. Okay, um, and I, I, I understand what people are saying because of the legislations for drones, mm -hmm. but this is a, a sub 250 gram, which huh? legally means I can fly anywhere. It's not permitted over English Heritage land. We have consulted with Civil Air, uh, Air Civil Aviation Authority to. Uh, so, to is, there a, is there a restriction there then? Because on my map it showed no restrictions. I'm afraid it is. All of this land, especially within the castle walls, is not permitted. Uh, we do have signage around the castle itself uh, to indicate that drones are not allowed to be fly, flown over the property. Okay. My apologies. No, that's, that's fine. I'll bring it back. So. I do appreciate it. They are magnificent bits of kit. Yeah, they are. It's uh, it'll be interesting to see what the restrictions are, mm -hmm. just because, um, like I say, these are actually set up so we can fly them anywhere. Mm -hmm. And I do understand that some companies. I mean, we get a lot of that where companies say, "Hey, you're not allowed to do this. You're not allowed to do that." But it's actually uh, it's down to the CAA. Yes, uh, and, and the flight have restrictions. Have consulted with them to make sure that they were correct in, in requiring that they're not. Okay. Well, on that, I'm going to bring it in um, because you. I think that's fair I do enough. Appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, <laughs> and I'll be off site in about five minutes then. Okay. Lovely spot. Do you know Kenilworth well? I live here. Oh right, I was going to suggest some lovely spots that that, uh, that, that would be permitted. But uh, I'm, I'm sure you already know them. Get it to come back in automatically because uh, while you're talking to me, I can't give my full concentration of course, of course. to this, which my is. Which is, uh, yeah, no problem. I've just told it to go up to centimetres. Just to bring it back. And it's uh, making its way across now. It's getting some lovely footage as well. Oh, it's going fantastic. Across. Oh, they are so beautiful. Oh. <laughs> I will point out, since you live in Kenneth, and without my English heritage uniform on, once the site is closed, we've got security on the site, but generally they're like, so it's just not getting all up to those in person with the pop they're not bothered at all and you'd have it without the people as well and with the sunset so it is like after 6 pm I'd yeah. say. Yeah. Well that's <laughs> see I came <laughs> down in the morning. Uniform on. I came down in the morning and um, oh, so I got the, the sunlight coming up. Oh, so this gorgeous. one's just to do a contrast yes. and then I'm gonna be back in the evening again uh, to do it after after that's no it's probably gonna land very much close to this. But I'll, I'll turn that off in a second. Thank you, I really do appreciate it. I'll leave you to it. Okay, thank you um, very much. Yeah, like I say, without my uniform on and all that, when it's closed. Have a good one, thank you. And you, thank you, bye bye. Okay, so that was the nice lady from English Heritage. Um, I'm really upset. Not now. If that wasn't actually recording. Because that would have been some lovely footage. But we'll have to see. It's not be the first time I've made a boo-boo when it comes to recording things. So let me just... Uh, 